like, um, like saying like, yeah, she was with the boogeyman. Like, oh, she was, she was with some black dude. Like, all right, bro. Like, I don't know if that's a story. That could be the story, but I know that that gets thrown around a whole lot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. some black boy did it, and you know he came up and shot him. And really, you know, you know stuff like that, and um. We have to really check ourselves and, and see what is white and black. Um, are white? Are Jewish people white? Because they don't consider themselves white. They consider themselves Jewish. They consider themselves the chosen ones. Right. Um, African Americans, or or whatever you want to call um, call them, because you know. Some believe that they were here first. Um, I'm not here to debate all that, but what I'm saying is, African Americans, um, they're getting feminized now. The men, um, and it's like, are we ready to go to war? Um, I see a lot of females that are that are tougher than these dudes out here these days, and like are really ready to ride more than these dudes out here. And I blame it on um, them feminizing the man through through media. Um, I blame, you know, in Russia, you know, and I don't have nothing against nothing, but they're not showing um, crazy stuff, you know, um, on TV and all that, you know, um, stuff that's, that, that's different, um, may I say. They're not open to uh, to to new stuff, and you know, um, where am I going with this? So now you split us up between black and white, but then there's still Irish, Italian, Jewish, and then there's still gay. Lesbian, bisexual, um, they're just so um, trans, whatever, whatever you are, and, and you know I got love and respect for everybody, but to like pe places like Russia, this this stuff will not be allowed to be televised, um, and you say that there's a lot less of that over there, and um, it just it just gets me to thinking like. It's a lot of um, ways to divide people. And um, one of them is through romance and um, what you like. Like, um, for instance, you know, it was always told, like, you know, you, you don't date outside of your race at a, at a certain, you know, years ago. Now it's, it's, it's all out. And um, it's just a different world. And it was becoming a different world. But we weren't getting, men weren't getting feminine. So it goes back to the point, what if this happened in America? What's happening in, in Ukraine right now? Would we be able to handle it? Would we be able to handle it? Um, comment on that. What, what what do you think? Will we be able to handle? Um, what do you think? Are the are the men um, feminized a lot more these days? And I'm not talking about gay men. I'm not. That's their preference. That's the, I'm talking about regular straight men. Are like you know. I ain't, um, you know, if a mouse comes up, they, they jump higher than a girl. I say all that to say, my man Dex Dill posted something today. And he said, um, over there in Russia, you know, they be, they be boxing trees and wrestling bears. And I mean, he said, we might have to sit this one out. <laughs> Um, first of all, that's, that's not our, 
choice to say that they can't take anybody's land, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, Putin and everybody in Russia is, is calling America hypocrites right now. Um, like I said, I dated two Russian girls from Russia who actually live in Russia still right now. Um, and, you know, when I lived in Atlantic City, it'd be a lot of foreign exchange students, so, you know, I would, I would beg a lot of them. So, anyway, the Russian girls are different. Their bodies are built different. They're a lot stronger. They're not, they're not weak in any type of way. The, the ones I met, anyway, they're, um, they're strong. They're, they're, they, um, even, even the ones, like, you know, they, they respect their parents so much. They respect their family um, history so much. It means so much to them. Their family name means so much to them. It's so much pride. Um, they, got, they got pride in their country. They're proud to be Russian. Um, I haven't seen a lot of that. I still see it in, like, my dad's um, generation. But after that... Even the people um, that went to the Afghanistan war or went to Iraq war, um, I remember watching Iraq war when we was in St. Gabe's and they turned it on 2003. And um, we were in school when they turned it on. And I remember us thinking like, yeah, we're doing a good thing. We're running in this, in this country and you know, we're getting this guy out of here. But then you start to think like, who are we? This whole land is colonized. Everything we got is colonized. We're, what? We got, we got military bases all over the world. So it's in our best interest to go into Ukraine, help them out, and get a military base there. That's what, the, it's, it's all deeper than you think. And I'm not saying I have all the answers, but it's been proven time and time and again. This is what we do. This is what we do. 20 years from now, this whole thing. But you gotta remember, now China and Russia, they're together. They're two bullies too. They can rumble too. And while the bully's lacking, you know the person that gets bullied? He's ready for that action. He's getting ready. Person that's, that's bullying, doing the bullying, they think uh, he, he's sweet, he ain't doing nothing. Until so he finds out your weakness and how to, how to really hit you hard. And, and how does that happen? Fat and all. Killed 100,000 people last year. That's a pandemic, if you ask me. 100,000 Americans died. From fentanyl overdoses last year. Somebody explain something to me. Now, I'm not proud of it, but I've been in the drug game since I was a kid. Now, around 2008, 2009, the heroin was brown heroin, right? Right after that. 2010 area, that 2000, that whole blurry, it started turning over to fentanyl, and it was white. I say that to say, that was a few years after we went into Afghanistan, which is the number one supplier of opium in the world, on this planet. Now, I don't know what we were doing over there for 20 years, but my guess is we weren't just letting all that opium go to waste. We were stacking up. We knew that there may be some sanctions from other countries because, yeah, we're sanctioning Russia and all that, but now, you know, China, we're sanctioning them. They're doing the same thing back to us. We're not getting our goods like we're supposed to at all. And then we got this, um, the, all the, this mad stuff and all that, people taking the jab and, and everything. It's all really being crazy. And I just felt as though I need to speak on it. And I feel as though 
Trump right now would be doing a better job than Biden? What do you guys think? Comment below. If the next election, if it goes down to Trump versus Biden, who are you voting for? Real answers. I don't want everybody to keep being fake. I'm tired of that. All right, listen. All right, yeah. All right, if Trump is a little bit racist, that racist. Okay, cool. You know how many rappers I listen to that talk all kind of racist stuff about white people? But I still listen to them. I still listen to the messes. I still rock with them because I know they're prejudiced. He's prejudging me. He dealt with this race and this this way all their lives, so he's prejudging me to be that. But then when I get around that person and, and I start to kick it with him, oh, after two days, oh, you, you're my favorite white boy. Yo, you the coolest white boy I ever met in my life, bro. And and you just see all there ain't no racism there. It's 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 prejudice. It's it's prejudged. Um and with that being said, man, we gotta get rid of that. Um stop prejudging um homosexuals, stop prejudging Asians, stop prejudging Spanish, stop prejudging black, white, whoever, Indian, Native American, Indian, whoever. We got to stop prejudging, man, because there's only one person that's going to judge us in the end. That's it. One person. One person. That's what I believe, anyway. And, um, there's only one person that can judge me right now. Besides, um, <laughs> besides, um, Your Honor. Only I can judge me, man. I'm so tired of living up to other people's expectations and, um, and, and, you know, trying to fit in. I can admit that, um, everybody wants to fit in in some type of way, but I always put my own style to it. Um, I always went against the grain. Like I said, I could have easily, you know, um, not rap and, and, and not got into that lane and, and just listen to, you know, certain family members like, oh, they, you know, they're, they're different type of people. No, they're not. When I was down in that, when I was homeless, guess who took me in? Yeah, a black family. Yeah. Shout out my man Sharik, Danny, y'all. Love you guys. Um, and that's real. That's real. That's Washington on the dollar bill, because <clears throat> I was taught at a young age that um, not to be prejudiced because of what my mom went through as far as her brother getting killed over over just nonsense, over stuff that ain't got nothing to do with no money, and ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's just dividing people. And um, I just see a lot more of that, and I hope you get united. I hope uh, people start focusing on their health more. Uh, I hope the OGs, you call yourself an OG. If you call yourself an OG and you ain't giving no game to these youngins, I don't respect it. You just an old guy. That's all. That's why I do this podcast because I know that I can't get in front of these young bulls and actually say it. Because most of the time, they're really not trying to hear it. I remember when I was 16, 17, I wasn't trying to hear nothing. I thought I knew it all. But I told you, everything Jay-Z said, I listened to. 
Now, you um, you you do the you do the math with that. Um, every every song that he had, I know it by heart within a week. Um, uh, I'm not just talking about him. I'm talking about just the hip hop culture. Um, uh, you know, and. That's the end of it. I love the hip hop culture, man. Every single piece of it um, taught me what I know. But I'll vote for Trump if it all came down again, man. And uh, you got he parting Kodak, he parting Lil Wayne. Come on, man. Give this man his credit. I know people think he just did that for the black vote at the end, but I don't know. If he did, he did, but he did it. That's all that matters at the end of the day to me. Because if I'm in that jail and a black man gets me out, I know that I'm never going to prejudge again. <laughs> Plain and simple. If um, 